Hi everyone, welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. This is Monica, and it is Wild Card Wednesday today, where I get to choose a random passage or technique to share with you. Today I thought I would revisit one of the tippins that I had created in my journaling Bible, and on the tippin is a verse from Revelation 17, and then I did some lettering in the margin from Revelation 16. So as I open up my Bible and get started here, I do want to read the words that are on that tip in there. It says, They will make war on the Lamb, and the Lamb will conquer them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and those with him are called chosen and faithful. The words, it is done, that I am lettering in the margin come from the previous chapter when an angel says the words, it is done. And this all has to do with end times and battles. And I was thinking, Revelation, that's going to be a really hard page to journal. And it sort of was. But when I found those words, it is done, and that there were flashes of lightning and rumblings and peals of thunder, I was definitely inspired to attempt some lightning on this page. So, so far here you can see I'm underlining the verses that go with both the tippin and also with this angel's proclamation of it being done. And I've also added simple but bold printing saying those words, it is done. And I'm going to be going in with some watercolor. And because I'm using watercolor, I am going to protect the page of my Bible. And here I'm just kind of pre-planning where that tip-in is going to eventually go so I can keep that in mind. But as I'm protecting my Bible here, I'm simply using some washi tape that I am applying to my skin first and then peeling it off to just weaken that adhesive slightly. And I'm using the washi tape to affix the page to this piece of printer paper that I have behind it. And it's also protecting the edges of the page and going to prevent watercolor from seeping around the edge of the page onto the previous page. And here I'm also masking off those verses because I wanted them to stay really crisp and clean and not be covered up with the background that I'm going to be doing in this stormy sky that I'm going to be creating for the lightning. So I created a purple color just by mixing a dark blue and a dark red and I'm just going in here and adding some of this color to the page mostly to the darkest parts of the sky I did Google image lightning and came up with some really dramatic photos as you might guess and so I am working from one for inspiration here so the one that I was looking at had some really dark purples around the edges and then where the lightning comes from is actually quite a bit lighter in the sky and so that's where I chose to put the letters it is done so those will not be covered up and the text of my Bible will also not be covered up because I'm using watercolor it will remain translucent as it dries and it will even lighten up a little bit as it dries as well so you can see I've mixed that slightly lighter color it's more of a reddish purple lavender for the light part of the sky and I'm just having a lot of fun here as I'm creating this skyscape I'm just thinking about how amazing and wonderful the end is going to be when God is actually victorious and when those who have been making war against the Lamb of God will be defeated and it's a sobering thought but it's just also extremely comforting to know that our Lord and Savior is definitely still in charge. He definitely knows what's going on. And especially in light of how crazy the world has been lately, this is a great comfort to us as believers. So I'm using a bit of warm air from my hair dryer just to ensure that this first application of watercolor is nice and dry. And next I'm going to be going along the bottom of the page and I'm just adding a very simple silhouette of some houses, some trees, maybe a power line or two. And the photo that I was working from had that and I just thought it was really nice because it sort of grounds the photo and it gives you 
an idea of the scale of this lightning. And so these lightning bolts are going to be just gigantic in relationship to the town below. So I'm adding these little lighter spots in the clouds there, and that's actually where the lightning is exiting the cloud cover or coming through the cloud cover. And I decided to go ahead and just use white watercolor for this with a minimal amount of water. And so that's allowing me to get some fine lines there. But you will notice I do have to go in with several applications because as it dries, it will lighten just like any other color of watercolor. But this actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Lightning, it turns out, is just really squiggly lines that fork off of one another. And I think I had to just sort of use restraint to stop myself when I felt like I'd made enough lines on the page there. So you can see what I'm talking about when I said that I needed to use several coats to really get it to appear white enough. And I did want it to be contrasting enough against the stormy sky so that you could see it. I'm peeling off that washi tape very carefully that's been holding my page down. And I always love this because it just leaves behind a nice clean line around the edge. And then same thing with the verses, peeling off the washi tape that's been protecting them from being covered in watercolor. And so there is the new Bible page to go with my tip in. So here I go with my process of installing or inserting this tip in, just making a final decision of where I want that flag to be. It's kind of a victory flag symbolically in my mind and celebrating that he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And so we can trust in him. So you can see I have put just a very minimal amount of school glue on that edge. And I'm just inserting it, making sure that's where I want it. And I am going to let this dry. And sometimes when it's drying, it likes to stick up in the air and that's totally fine too. And that's the page. I'm going to leave my Bible open and let it dry. But I was really pleased to come back and revisit this tip-in. Just a reminder, if you want this tip-in for yourself, those are available over on my Facebook page Bible Journaling by Monica. They're in the files section and they are free if you're a subscriber to my channel and my Facebook page. So be sure to go check those out. I hope that this inspired you to jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. See you next time.